Okay, so today, <clears throat> realistically, uh, let's say we, we have uh, we are we have this particular uh, idea about interactive. So there are some words here, then a magnet. Then when you drag <clears throat> certain objects into a particular drop zone, then it will obey the <clears throat> the physics lah, or the interaction that is being guided in the model in this particular simulation. So it's just a simple uh, words picture. This this magnet is not draggable, but you just drag three things into a hot zone. Then maybe it does something. Uh, does some interaction. So it's 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 a very good piece of simulation for teaching, because <clears throat> I mean teaching as in teaching EGSS, because I think there's very limited <clears throat> uh, limited elements. Uh, so it make things a lot easier. Okay, so maybe just to briefly explain. Text normally we use a use a text element to create. Then this will be in the plotting pot, uh, plotting panel, and then uh, these are just objects within the EGSS plotting panel. So I don't think it's too terribly difficult. Probably this is a uh, more for an illustration purpose. Like I don't think it's a finish. Mm, yes. Well, okay. Can. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, get you guys to fire up your EJSS editor. So for me, let me see what I can do. Okay. Let me just share my EJSS. Okay. Okay, so this is my EJSS. Okay. So I've given you some links to, to refer to. Uh, let me check whether I can still see them. Okay, it's blocking my view, hang on. Uh. So this is a magnet. Hang on. Uh. Okay, let me share this uh, browser. <clears throat> no, wrong one. Okay, let me share this browser again. <clears throat> so, um, as, as mentioned before, uh, I think this is a, a similar template uh, that covers the same magnet and then uh, there are you know, another thing here that you can drag. Okay, so it's quite similar, like, not exactly the same, but I'm hoping that with this copy and paste concept, maybe it will make things a, li a little bit easier. So can you uh, briefly remember how do I get this simulation into my EJSS editor? Uh, anyone from... Uh, Anyone can can briefly remember how to do this? How do I? You need you need to download the source, is it? Ah, download the source. Okay. How to download the source? I just click on download source there. <laughs> okay. So there are, there are several ways. So one way is to download the source here. Okay. So mm. let me just click on the download the source. Okay. Then it will prompt me to save it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I don't think your. Oh, Okay, so let's say it, it so you down it asks you to download the source. So uh, let me look at it now. Uh, zip file. No. Uh, so it asked me to save it somewhere. So typically I'll just save it uh, in the desktop. Then I will move it over to. I'll move it over to <clears throat> I'll move it over to the source folder. Hang on. Huh? I'm confused by the by the panel. Give me a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just quickly Okay. 
Okay, give me a minute how to share again. Uh, share. So I can't share my desktop. Oh, I can share my. I can share my Finder. Okay, so I have the file on my desktop. Uh, as in, as in this file. Let me just drag it over and show you. So this file is now uh, saved in my local machine. So I need to move it to my uh, workspace. So I'm going to go to my workspace, uh, drop it in the source. <clears throat> so let's say uh, I'm going to try to put it inside this folder. So if it's, if it's, if it's very messy, <clears throat> then you need to do some file management. I'm going to copy here. Okay, so this is the file I just downloaded from the website. Okay, I'm going to double click on it to expand the contents. So I need to remember the name. <coughs> so the name is EJSS source to magnet. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to, so now that this is safely inside my workspace of EJSS, I will now go back to EJSS. Uh, I, I strongly encourage you to follow the steps uh, because it's, it's easy when everybody is ex explaining to you. Then when you do it yourself, the, the machine is different. The, <clears throat> the difficulty you face is different. Okay, so you need to tell me what you're seeing so that I can help you to troubleshoot. Okay. So this is the open file button. So I'll click on the open file. Because previously I have opened up EJSS, so <clears throat> this is how it looks like. You just ignore, <coughs> ignore the message, so just say yes or no, doesn't really matter. Then you navigate to that folder which you say the source file. Then it's probably I sort by recency, so this is the this is the file. Okay, and then I'll click OK. So this is the the source code for that simulation. Okay, so let me just double check that by clicking on this green button. Okay. Okay, sometimes EJSS does something uh, weird. So I, I will <coughs> set it back to the browser for preview. Uh, how to come here is uh, this little button here, EJSS option. I will use the browser to, oh, sorry, you're, are you seeing the screen? So, okay, this, I'm using this to click here. Then I will pop up this particular uh, pop-up. Then I will select these two buttons. Because my, because I have several EJSS version running inside my, inside my computer. So sometimes the, the setting gets messed up. So I, I need to set it back to the, the, the way I like it, which is to use the browser to preview. So in this case, I'm using Chrome. Oh, I'm using Chrome. So for your machine, you normally you will use the, the Windows command. Okay. So let me just uh, run run this. Uh, let me let me just run this. Okay. So let me just run this by clicking on the green button. Okay, and then you should see a, a brand new simulation which you downloaded from the web. Okay, and it is functional. Yes. Okay. Can I have a, can I have a, a sign that you are, are following this and uh, yeah, are, are you any of you stuck somewhere? Especially the, the folks from from the other organization. Uh. I managed to get it to run like yours. So yeah, good. Mine too. Oh. Yeah. Managed oh, yeah, to run. Okay. Yeah. Managed to run, huh? Okay. Okay. So, uh, let me just orientate you uh, to the new template. Huh? This is the template because somebody has done it already. So it's a matter of copying and pasting it into your own uh, file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you have this particular file already. Okay. So it has something at the top, uh, two check boxes, uh, play pause button. Post. Okay. 
and then the three, three of this button. Then there's a plotting panel here. In this plotting panel, there is a message here, that, like a hint like that for teaching and learning. And then this is not draggable. It is not draggable, but this is. So it shows the, oh, am I, is it working? It stopped working. Oh, because I, I didn't set it to, hang on. Uh. Post. Oh, I think I've, I discovered uh, unexpected behavior, but never mind, I fix it another day. So this is draggable. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is draggable, this is draggable. Then these are just for visualizing the, the quantities of the forces. Oh. Okay, so now that you are familiar somewhat with the template that we downloaded, I'm going to go back to EJSS. Okay, so in EJSS, <coughs> if you all can uh, recall, that this is the variables, okay? So there is many uh, variables because maybe the person who created this uh, wanted to do like, uh, everything is in a variable form. So X bar one could mean the, the position of the first bar, okay? Then Y is the Y position. These are the second bar. These are the velocities of the bar. These are the acceleration of the bar and so on. These are the sizes, okay? Then uh, there's another tab for friction. So those of us who are familiar with physics, this is the drag coefficient mu, uh, gravity. So the, the, the variables are, you can guess what it is. Lah. So I'm not gonna go through the whole list, lah, but essentially, it's, it's all here. It's a matter of copying the codes to the template that you want, okay? So, um, okay, first thing I want you to do is, uh, let me see how to do this, huh? Okay, I ask you a question, huh? You, you are not worried about the look and feel first, right? You just want to know how to navigate in EJSS, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh okay, so the, the easiest way is I'm going to go to the EJSS console. So now I have one EJSS hour. Oh, uh, I want you to open up the EJSS console. This this console here, there's another button here called launch EJSS. I want you to launch two instances of EJSS. That means uh one is our template, and then the second one is a blank one. Mm, thank you. Okay, the blank one. Mm -hmm. So my, unfortunately, I can't show you my desktop because this version of the Zoom has a limitation. So I now have currently a second EJSS. Oh, this is the first one. My second one is here. Okay, this is my second EJSS. Okay, I'm going to click on this button called new new and then agree to it it will ask me to save it or somewhere then now this is a blank one can you see this one yeah. has nothing okay so first i i put my template on the left which is this one then the new blank one i put it on the right of my desktop okay so i have two ejss Follow? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this, since this is brand new, uh, I, I need to, I need to give it some views and all that. Lah. So I'm just going to quickly uh, do it. Nah. So I'm going to go to HTML view, click on this one, click on the create a new page. So it will fire up a new uh, HTML view. I'm just going to close it for a while. Uh, let me just check my, uh, okay, again, my new EJSS, I didn't, I prefer to use the browser. 
Yeah, sorry, who's uh, who's talking? Ni. No, Faisal, Faisal. Okay, so um, this is the new blank one, ah. Uh. Okay, so the the idea is. I I want to do a new simulation. Oh, sorry. Let me share again. Uh, this EGSS. It's a blank one, okay? It has this HTML view. It currently has nothing. So I'm just going to do a single plot. Okay, a single plot. Click on it. Then uh, use the, click on it once, release the left button and drag it to the left. It becomes a magic wand. Then drop it here. Okay, now if I try to, now I will try to give it a name. So I will save it. Okay, I will give it a name. Uh, let me see, where are you? How come don't have name? Okay, save it as a name. So I'm just going to give it a name, maybe say, um, what's a good name? Uh, do not start with numbers. Uh. The, the file name don't start with numbers. Don't say one something. Uh. So, so it has to be words. Uh. What would be a good name for the file? Testing. Magnet. Uh. Test, test magnet. <laughs> Testing magnet. Okay. So it will be saved inside the same folder called source. Uh, because I, I like to do some minimal file management. So I will dump it inside this folder. Okay, and then uh, okay, then I maybe I want to create a new folder, up to y'all lah, because I just want to make things simple. So I'm just going to put inside one folder. Then I got to drop it here called testing magnet, and then I'm going to save it. Okay, so now this should be a functional uh, blank sim. Let me just test mm -hmm. by clicking on the green button. button. Okay, let me see. Okay, so indeed it is a functional simulation. It has a label, a plotting panel, and then some words here, which are later on I will delete. Okay, it's in, it's in Spanish, obviously, because the creator are Spaniards. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my EGSS. Okay. So we, we, have, we have very quickly, uh, just a quick re recap. Uh, we have quickly downloaded a template uh, that looks like that. Okay, this is on my left on my desk desktop. Okay, it has all the interesting things I want to copy over. Then this is the this is my blank one. Okay, my blank one. So it has nothing except a plotting panel that runs. Sorry, Lukang can ask a question. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Um, for me, I don't have a magic wand. Eh. Why is that? Eh? Okay. So I click uh, the single can you screen share and let me see your screen. Okay. Your co-host, can you screen share? Yeah, I'm I'm doing the screen share. Okay. So I drag this the single plot, right? The single plot, yes. No, no. Is it this one? Uh yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah this, this one. one. Yeah. It doesn't, click it doesn't. once, click it once. Then don't drag, don't drag. You can drag, but you if you drag Oh okay, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, click it once. If you drag, uh, you must make sure you drag exactly at the simulation view. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, okay. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, because if you move a bit, it will not uh, populate. Okay. Okay, thanks. thanks. Good question, good question. Because I can, I can tell you, uh, uh, yeah, it, there were bound to be issues. Uh, nah. Anybody else has is stuck somewhere? So I push on, huh? Yes, yes, okay. Uh, wait, uh, let me see where am I now. Uh, okay. So, I think uh, in order to make EGSS uh, a little bit more attractive, so I use the word called uh, template. Lah, because in actual fact, they are all existing source code out in the internet. There are, there are people who put out their source code, then you can, you can read it in EGSS. So, uh, so let's let's see what we need, uh. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go to my template. 
let's do some, something simple first. Huh? So uh, if I look at the template, so this is the, the, the letters at the top. Huh? So I'm going to double click on this. Okay. So I can see that the person has put in a, H, a HTML, oh sorry, hang on. Huh? The person has put in a, a HTML code, a, a tag h1 then followed by the label so it appears that it can take html coding okay so i'm going to uh, let's look at our let's look at our template that were given so two two polystyrene balls are each coated with a different material so let's say we we don't copy exactly but i i can i can type myself right two polystyrene balls Okay, dot, 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 dot. okay, because I don't have the time uh, to, to flesh out the whole question, but I just want to demonstrate to you that you can, you can type in your own uh, words within this uh, label, which you can find. Oh, hang on, uh. let me share here. Uh, this, uh, okay. So there are all these, uh, <clears throat> so this already has been injected with my words. You can if you want, you can get more words. Then it will, it will populate. It's a, it's a separate element. It's called label. So I'm going to generate it and see what I've just done. Okay, Generate by pressing the green button. I'm going to share my browser. Okay. So two, okay, polystyrene, okay, with a spelling mistake. <coughs> Ball, then after that, dot, dot, dot. So this is the H1. Mm -hmm. H1 tag. This is the normal label. So you can actually uh, use it this way. So you can type in a question here. Okay. So let's look at the, the template that we have. So in other words, this should not be too difficult for any of us because it's just words. Okay. Uh, sorry, Lawrence, can I ask something? Mm -hmm. Faisal here. Okay, because just now when you put the second label, it is uh -huh. side by side. Correct. Yeah. Is there any way that we want to move down? So how do we do that? Yes, good, good. I, I'm, I'm glad that you you asked this. Okay, so, uh, so let's say for example there is something that you want to learn on the internet, nah. So, uh, you type HTML, uh, next line. Oh, okay. Okay, next line. So it's like nobody is a walking dictionary, lah. Right? Mm. Uh, unless, unless uh, I, I have been doing it just now. So there's this thing called a PR, Break, uh, yeah. this, this various codes that you can copy. So mm -hmm. it's a bracket, it's a tag. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to try what I just copied, what I just uh, found out on the internet and then just test whether EJSS is uh, compliant okay. or not. Lah. So uh, let me just try. I'm going to click on the polystyrene. Then I'm going to do a next line. Then I'm going to do my own uh, hello. Okay. So the, the syntax is the, the text here. Mm -hmm. okay. Then followed by, a, followed by a, oh sorry, let me, I didn't share the correct screen. So the, the text is two, two polysign ball dot 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 in the H1 tag. Mm -hmm. Then the next line, then hello. Okay, maybe this should be capital uh, oh, to signify proper English. So uh, I okay it. Okay, then let's let's test by going back to EJSS. Okay, let's go back to EJSS and and try to compile it. Press the green button. Okay, jam. Okay, wait, it didn't compile. Okay. Uh, a minute, uh. HTML language you cannot have hello on its own. Cannot what again? You cannot have hello on its own. You must put it in uh, either a paragraph or then you know the bracket P. Okay, you understand. Yeah. Hang on, yeah. Hang on, uh. You need to create a new paragraph. You create a paragraph first, then you can pitch, then you can line break in the paragraph. Uh, 
Okay, you use the P first, use the P. You want to do your screen share? <laughs> because I cannot follow. <laughs> <laughs> you replace your BR uh -huh. to a P. The normal P. P yeah. yeah, paragraph yeah. P. You mean with like that P, is it? Yeah, P yes. first. Then, then, then the PR. Then you must close first. Okay, then you close. Then... Okay. And then before the hello, you can either use the break or you can use the new line. Same. Is it correct now? Um, yeah, but to, show, but to show your BR, you must type in another thing afterwards. So like after, is it after? Yeah. I think there are many. There are, there are, there are, at least, I think there are at least three ways I can do this lah. But I yeah. <laughs> let me just test it lah. Let me just test the the this this one ah. Okay, let me get it to work first. Then I explain ah. Hmm. Okay, can. Okay, so it's working now. Uh, let me show you the effect on the browser. Okay, so it has this, then followed by a label, then the hello. I think what happened is this is this is uh, can you see the, the the difference? Let me just remove the label. Uh, the label maybe is giving problem uh, in in explaining the the idea. Okay, I'm going to destroy. I'm going to cut it out. So, so now currently it just has a. Okay, if you want to use the br actually right, you. Uh -huh. Do not put hello outside of the head, outside of the first heading. Yeah, the outside of the first H1. You, if you want to use BR, you get rid of the paragraph, hello. You Hang get, on, huh? Yeah. Get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of that. Then within that one, you put a BR, then you put hello. Oh, like then that. The, yeah. Yeah. Then the font will be the same, is it as H1? Yeah, yeah it will be as H1. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Okay, I, I hope it works. Uh, I used BR that time. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, it didn't work? Uh? The last uh, that time. Uh. Yeah. So B, BR doesn't work, uh, but uh, I can show you the the one with the P. La. P. Let me get it to work first. Okay. Can. Okay, so it's working. So let me just copy the code and I show you on the on the WhatsApp chat. Huh? P means paragraph. Yeah, P means paragraph. So the, he just wanted to show a next line. Huh? So this is my, my code. Huh? So you type in the words, then you put a, a P, so it becomes a new paragraph. So this, this will work. Can you all see? Let me just hang on. Huh? Can you see in your WhatsApp the, the chat? So this is the, the markup for the yeah. label. Okay. So the words. So P is new paragraph. Oh, then you have to close the quotation. Uh. So mm -hmm. the output will look like this. Where's my browser? Oh my browser disappeared. Oh my browser is here. So it looks like this now. Mm -hmm. Two porcelain ball, then new paragraph, then hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. So there are many ways of doing it. Uh, I suggest you you check with me if you want to create different ways, lah. Because I, I can I can show you. Okay, let me just quickly share my EJS screen again. Okay. So I can copy this. I can uh, paste it back. So there are two of them. Okay. So to copy is right click, then copy, then uh, paste to whichever element, then you can drag it around if you want. Okay. So uh, the, the top one, I'm going to leave it alone. The top one is the one, this is the one with the, with the P using P. Okay, I will modify the name. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that's using the P. I can also use a, a, an, an N. N stands for next line. Okay.
Okay, so I'm double clicking on the next line. So let me just show you my, my syntax. So it will be H1, uh, H2 Polystyrene Ball. So you can do a next line. So next line will be just a slash and end. Then because next line cannot have a, there's no open and close for the P. So it's just like that. Next line, hello. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a decimal uh, a full stop here. I'm going to copy this code and, and show you whether it works or not. Your sharing is paused. Oh, I didn't record, is it? Uh, when I hang on, uh, new share. So now this, this one is using the end. Let me just generate it and see. Uh. Uh, wait, uh, let me see. Let me understand what I'm doing. Uh. Okay, so now the output is like this. This is the first one with the with the, mm -hmm. the paragraph. With the paragraph. And this is the one that is with the next line. It didn't work. Uh. Mm. Why it didn't work? Next line. Hmm. Okay, I, I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. Lah. I, I, let me... <laughs> because they're using um, both HTML language and Java language. Huh. So if you want, you can don't use header. And okay. use it like a normal string. Let me try that. That's a... That's a interesting... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me just remove the header. Once I get it to work, I'll, I'll copy the code so that you have a sample to, to refer to. Huh? Let me just generate the output. Hmm, still not working. Leh. Yeah. Okay, I think I know why. Lah, because the, the element doesn't support the... Let me show you the output first. Yeah, the out, this this doesn't work here because I think it only works for certain uh, parts of it. Lah. Oh, so now that we got this one to work, uh, I think it's good enough. Lah. We just don't we just don't bother with the other way. Lah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So let me just go back to EGSS. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because it doesn't work. Lah. So I'm not going to copy the code for you to copy. Okay. So this fundamentally is, is just the P, the P paragraph. Okay, the P, that's the bracket P and then close the bracket. So that will achieve, that will achieve the next line that you just wanted. Lah. Okay, let me just generate it again. Oops, what did I do? Okay. okay so, so Faisal, this is okay? Yes, yes. I mean, there are many other ways of doing it. If, if let's say it doesn't look good, let's say you want it to be left adjust, you just tell me, then I will send you the element, then you just uh, edit it with the, with the template. It's easier. Mm. Oh, because I think the H1 tag is centered, if I'm not wrong. I'm not sure why is it not on the left. Okay. okay so, uh, so now let's go back and look at our example that we want to copy so you have a magnet okay let me just check do you want the magnet to be slanted like this or is it okay if it's if, it, if it's okay if it's like normal like this i think for us it's okay it's just the perspective wise i think we can change right if we don't like it like i mean the the image we can change on our own right correct correct the image you can change on your own yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, one of the things is uh, if you use native elements, then it w you can influence it this way, lah. If you use images, then uh, you always need to get a graphic mm -hmm. artist for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you uh, how to. 
Let me see how I can do this. Huh? Uh, okay, I'm going to use your image. Lah. Okay, you give me a minute. Lah. Let me let me take out your image. Okay, you hang on for a while. Let me. Where is your file that you gave me? Okay, I found the magnet you gave me. I'm going to drag it and give it to you guys. Is it showing up? Okay, you can see the magnet. Okay, I'm going to give it to the other group. Okay, so now you have the picture. Mm -hmm. the okay, you need to download it. Okay, and navigate to your desktop, to your works, your your workspace, and then you remember your workspace was here. So I typically will encourage uh, uh encourage some kind of a. Uh, a system lah. So let let me create a. Oh, hang on lah. Let me share this for you. Are you all looking at the correct screen? Okay. So now, now is prompting me to save the picture. I just sent you on WhatsApp. It's trying to save it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to save new folder. Okay, because the file name was called testing magnet. So I would normally encourage. Uh, the file name of the simulation .hss is the same as the folder of the file name. The reason for this is when you have a lot of files, typically it is a big mess inside your, your source folder. So if you have a particular system like the one I just described, where the file name and the accompanying folder share the same file name, then it will be easier for you to find your stuff. Then, then at least there's a system now. So I'm going to save it inside this folder called testing magnet. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay. So what I have is now, uh, let me just show you what I have. Am I sharing my screen? Where are you? Share folder. Okay, so now this is the if you remember, this is the temp, this is the blank one. Huh? This is the one with nothing. This is the one with the magnet. Okay, I just dropped you the, the, the image. Lah. Okay. So now uh, this is the, the system. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to EGSS. Okay. Now, we have just discussed about how to add words, right? So now the, the trick is now how to add things inside the, how to add images into the plotting panel. So there's something called 2D drawables. Everything inside here can only be dragged inside the plotting panel because the plotting panel is a 2D space for this 2D drawables to be inserted in. So I'm going to insert an image. Okay, click once, then move it uh, without holding on to the mouse, left mouse, uh, it becomes a magic one. Then you click, then you say okay. If you want to drag, I think it will work. I think it will work also, but you must drag and hold and make sure you will drop exactly at the right position. So it, it will also work. So now you see I have three copies. Are you all with me? Yes, yes. And follow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to delete the other two uh, because I don't think I need them. So now with this image, okay, I double click on it. Okay, I double click on it. 
So now I need to specify the position of the magnet that I want it to, to appear. Okay, so maybe say, uh, maybe say a minus one and then zero. Okay, because my, my, my current plotting panel, I think is, I, I need to check what, what size is it, but <clears throat> uh, maybe say it just displays to the left a bit. Lah. Okay, then the, the trick here is the size, which I think I'm going to specify uh, some number first. Is it too big? Uh? 0 0.5 maybe. Maybe just use one and one. Uh. Okay, one and one. Some or Try to use integers. Uh. Then later on, I'll teach you a technique to open up the, the plotting panel. Okay, so just use one and one. This is the, the trick, uh, which is called image URL. I'm going to inject, uh, re reference the reference the file. So it automatically opens up the SSTRF folder. So I just need to scroll to the testing. Then this is the WhatsApp image. Okay. So let me just compile and, and see whether it makes sense. Oh, okay, nice. Where are you? Uh, where, where is, how to zoom share? Share my browser, okay. So you can see part of the magnet has appeared here. Lah. Because it's out of the plotting graph. <laughs> right, yes, yes. Okay, because it's out of the plotting panel. Can I just check your uh, okay? I only add images on it. I didn't do anything mm. terribly yet. Are y'all okay? Yes. Can follow? Uh, I cannot yeah. find my magnet in the source file. Cannot find your okay, file. Can I try to open. Can, I see your, your, can you do a screen share? Yeah, I'm using another laptop. Oh. Silver, you must see the, the, uh, the, the image in the ah. source file. Yeah, it's under source, then I create a folder called testing magnet, then I throw in to yes. that folder. Oh, okay. That should work. Yeah, but when I try to retrieve the file, oh, okay. Start, then your, your it image, your URL, you must find the file inside. Cannot it must find be it. either PNG or like JP. Yeah, file. Okay, let me check. Oh, I didn't really. Okay, let me try. Oh. For the image URL, right, they can only detect images that are either in G format, JPG format, PNG format, or SVG format. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than that, then it won't work. Because previously I didn't rename, I just leave it as it is, which is called WhatsApp image. As in the Type, uh, type the of name file. of the file. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the the file name doesn't need to be changed. EJSS can can detect no matter how long is the name. The only problem is the address. The address is the one that probably gives people the problem. So it's just if you want to go to the folder, then it's dot backslash. But I I Recommend don't, not typing, la, but just go and find it using the editor, you see. You, you can go and memorize all this, you, you will... Unless you're, so, you're swimming in codes, la, then you understand all this. <laughs> not typically, I just use the EJSS to, to find the file, the image, la, the image. So you notice I didn't change the file name and, yeah. and, and find it. You cannot detect. Uh, I need to see your... your Okay, the yeah. to debug, ah. uh, where, but where is the file in first place? I tried to log in Zoom on this computer. Using your phone, is it, Sylvia? Yeah, I'm using another, I'm using the, the other internet machine. Mm -hmm. Somebody coming in, is it? Mm -hmm. No, I don't see anyone. Oh, never mind. I use my phone to record. Okay, 
Okay, I send over now. Okay. okay. Let me see your picture. Okay. It's empty. Okay. The file, the picture has to be in the same folder as your EGSS file. Ah, okay. Can you see where's the EGSS file first? Okay. Like the starting. Yeah, I put it outside. You put it outside? And we... There, at the bottom. Uh -huh, okay. Then... Okay, then wait. Okay. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's the type. What's the type of the file? Okay, let me check. It's not JPEG. Hmm? JPEG style. Oh, okay. Can you? Okay, I see. Okay, I I'm at your this time. I don't cannot see the time. Uh, so I cannot see the time of the. Of the standby is at the back. Remember, I can see that you can you can in a Windows environment you can select files of type graphical images. Can you just select and show everything? Okay, the view. Maybe for some reason your file is not recognized as a graphical image. Lah. That's why okay. it doesn't show up in the filter. You just remove it, just stay out and see all files. Okay. Is it there? See all, all files. You mean under the folder? Files of types. Ah, okay, yeah, I try. Yeah, don't don't filter by graphical. Maybe some reason. Oh ah, yeah, all files is I can see. It. Ah yeah, so the the problem is the is your is your, is your the, the file type like your file type has been mysteriously changed la. So mine mine also like that. <laughs> so I choose uh, all files. Ah, uh, maybe it has been mysteriously changed. Maybe when I drop into WhatsApp, then you copy from WhatsApp, it come out. Then it di didn't re didn't re remember its uh, extension. Okay. Now okay, ready? So now okay, ready? Yeah, now okay. Uh, okay. okay. So, so Thanks. good, good, a good discussion. Because, yeah. <laughs> because need to see the machine. Uh, sometimes, uh, it's a lot of debugging. Okay. Oh, okay. So that is not a, a problem with EJSS. Uh, that is just the, the file type. Uh, sometimes it change. So just be careful. Okay. So let me just continue. Let me just see what am I doing now. Uh, okay, so I have the image. Okay, so the next thing, uh, okay, I'm going to do a share on my HSS. Okay, so now you see the, the value of having more people in the discussion. Uh, so the Coco and, and City has been giving input because when I do, I can't see a lot of things also. Huh? Okay, so let's let's look at uh, the plotting panel. So you want to see any element that double click, then pops up the property panel. Or the property panel. So by default, if you leave your mouse here, uh, by default, these are minus one and one. So like what Fauzia uh, rightly pointed out, uh, the magnet, in order to reveal the full glory of the magnet, maybe this has to be expanded. Why I choose minus two? Because it was minus one. Remember, I put the magnet at minus one, and then there's a certain size, so I just expand it to minus two. Okay. So typically, I like it to look like a square. So I will specify the numbers in in simple proportion, in simple equalities, lah. Okay. So I think that should do it. Uh, width normally I like a hundred percent. Okay. Uh, height you cannot height cannot do percent, lah, because EGSS is very poor in uh, height. So I will I will specify in pixels. So six hundred pixels. Okay, can you all do this with me? Minus two, two, minus two, two, hundred percent and six hundred. Okay. okay. Once you have done this, then you can generate and see the new output on your browser.
the my neck looks flattened. <laughs> okay, I'm going to op- I'm going to also, I'm going to jump out. Ah, huh? okay, I'm going to close mm. this. I'm going to go to my browser. Oh, it looks flattened. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Huh? let me share my thing. Okay, it looks flattened. Okay. So um, this flattened thing um can be addressed. Okay, if it's a concern, uh, come to come back to EGSS. Let me just show you my EGSS. Hang on, huh? Okay, I go back to EGSS. Can you see this? Okay, EGSS has a function called square aspect. Uh, that means a circle will look round if square aspect is turned to true. So I'm going to turn it to true. Okay. Don't have to type in the words true. Ah. Uh, in the editor, there's this little button here. Click on it. Then it will pop up a new selection, true, false. Just select the correct combo that you want. In this case, I want it to be true because we pointed out that the image looks flattened, right? So uh, making it a square will help. Okay, so this now suddenly uh, the editor will have the word true here. I mean, you can also type in yourself, but typically I don't encourage typing lah because uh, we are trying to look for an easy editor, right? So if, if I need to type, then usually people are turned off lah. Okay, so I think you, you can actually select. Uh, so you don't have to memorize the syntax. True, false, you know, how, how, how to remember all this. So you just select. Uh, okay, so now let's generate and see. Uh, doesn't look too bad now. Okay, not the flattened look anymore. Yeah. Okay. Now there is another problem. Um, there is another problem. If you really want to make this look really nice, uh, there is another problem. Uh. Do you all know what is the problem? The background is not transparent. Okay, the background is transparent. Okay. You all know how to do image editing or not? Okay, lah, can. So I, I, I cannot teach you uh, image editing because I think it is, uh, it's not too complicated. Lah, huh? So essentially what you do is you open up using a uh, image editor software. So for me, it's called preview on a Mac. So I will, uh, so I will use a magic wand, select the background. Then it will magically select only the, the background with the same color. Then I press the delete button on my machine then it will magically remove all this and become transparent. Then I must save as .png because only PNG, I mean, I'm only familiar with PNG, so I always .png because I think JPEG, all these, they don't support transparent background. So you need to make sure that this becomes reformatted as a PNG file with a transparent background. Okay, but it can be done. Now. If you all have problem, you let me know. I, I I drop a new file for you. I, I do it regularly. Lah, so I don't think it's a problem. It's quite easy. Okay. A any other problems? Okay. So the, the other problem is your image. Ah, um, remember I choose one and one. So one and one is exactly here, from here to here, here to here. So you need to crop your image uh, if you want precision. Uh. If you want exactly the correct size to appear, you need to play with the size, okay? So because this is not, uh, I'm just pointing out the, the some obvious observation that I make uh, if you want to make it very polished. Uh. So besides the background, it's also the size. So you need to you need to crop it if you don't want all these funny things to affect uh, the dimensions uh, on the plotting panel. Okay. So okay, I'm going to move it here. Minus one, uh, zero is somewhere here. Okay. So I so the next thing. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. So the next thing is we want to create uh, three balls. One, two, three. Okay, three ball. Maybe I just create one and two lah. One ball that you can. 
Okay, I just show you three, I just show you. Then uh, we just stop at two, lah, right? I show you how you can draw three balls. Okay, so draw three balls. Um, okay, three balls, okay, can. Uh, I'm going to like to eat the process. Ah, what is very nice? I think the vision, okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, three balls. Okay, so in my plotting panel, uh, 2D, okay. These are all the single element, okay. Single uh, shape, single line, single line with arrow, single spring, single image, single text, polygon, trail. Trail is something that can move, so you can you can leave a like a like a line uh, that show where the ball has been has been moving around. So it's called a trail. Okay, like a learning trail, like that, huh? This is a group. A group is a very good way to organize your files. Okay, this one I don't I don't need to explain huh? But when you become more sophisticated, you can check with me again. Now the the problem is you want to draw three balls. I one way is to drop this three times. One, two, three. Okay, then there's three balls. There is a slightly more uh, sophisticated way of drawing balls. Uh, is using a, a array a set uh, three things sharing the same common name. So we use indexes, that means zero, one, two, positions to indicate where it is. So I'm going to use this slightly more sophisticated way. Okay, so I'm going to select this, click it once, then move it here, drop it in the plotting panel. Because the, the file is not, the file is not terribly difficult. Lah. So I'm just going to keep the default name. Okay, you can, of course, uh, change the file name, okay? So it looks like that now. Are you okay with the shape set? Anyone still there? Yeah, okay. Okay, so shape set. I'm going to draw three balls. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to double click on it. Double click. Okay, double click. Okay, so now uh, I want to draw three balls. So therefore the number of element is three. Are, are you all comfortable with variables? That means I put N here and then I put. Is it, are you comfortable? A any difference with that? Okay. The, easier. Okay, if, if I'm a professional uh, developer, then I will use variables. But if you're not so, not so, you're not so, um, you're not, you're just learning. You just want to see the effects. Then later on, you want to make things nice, uh, more easy to edit, then you use variables. If you just want to see the effect, we can just put numbers, you know? So it's less daunting, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's less scary. La. So if you use n, so it's just like n1, n2. And then right? we need to go back to the variable page. We need to declare it. Lah. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Which one is which one is preferred? Because I need to pitch it at the right level. I know some of you have interest, but if I make it so difficult, then you'll be so turned off. Then, you know. <laughs> I think I, I'm okay of, with I Just it. put number it's, first. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not teaching you programming. Mm -hmm. I'm not teaching you... I'm not teaching you. Um, I'm not teaching you Coding. how to do a polished product. I'm not teaching you how to do a polished interaction. I'm just showing you. I'm just teaching you uh, how to create something first. Then later on, then you then you can copy. Uh, the then we can start learning pieces later on. Uh. is that okay? No, I think numbers. People. I think even very uh, novice. A learner should be able to deal with numbers better than variables. So I'm just going to put some numbers here. So let's say one, zero, and minus one. Okay, the reason for putting this is because this is a shape set. So you, you mouse over here for a while. Uh, then you can see that this thing called integer double, integer brackets, and then double bracket. Because EJSS, you have to, un you, if you understand that this is a Java, initially a Java program, um, integer double are just 
now just variable in JavaScript. Lah. So it no longer is valid. But the, the square bracket is important. It, this denotes the format that it takes. So I can take zero, then all three elements will share the same coordinate, or I can specify in array, which is a square bracket. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. So maybe say size one and one. So let me just mouse over. Okay, same idea. Lah. So I want to make, if I very, if I very uh, sophisticated, I can put like this. Okay. Or I can just put like this. Then it will all share the same size. Because you can see it takes numbers as well as arrays. This is the like a tool tip lah, to show you what kind of format is accepted. Okay, so I can do like this, I can do like this. Then the shape, I will make it a square, a circle. I'll make it a circle. Okay, then I click OK because you can select all these other options. Lah. Oh, then I select circle. Then it automatically populates it as ellipse. Okay. Color, uh, are you okay? So you all need three different colors, right? So let me just, I just fill it up with a basic color first. Huh? Then I show you how we can change the color. So I'm just going to make it uh, blue first. Huh? Blue. So as you select from the, as you select from the palette, the color palette, then the RGB, red, green, and blue, and the transparency will change accordingly. Then it becomes code. Then you click OK. So the fill is currently a uh, blue color. Okay, it's currently blue color. Okay. So if you are more, um, yeah, we just do this first, lah. Okay. So I think, I think more or less okay. Okay, close. Then I recompile to see my output. Okay, Ken. So three circles, uh, the coordinate here is zero, one. The coordinate here is zero, zero. The coordinate here is zero minus one. The size is one and one, one and one, one and one. And the color is all blue. Are y'all getting something like this? Yes. Can, huh? Okay, so uh, then you, you notice this cannot be dragged. Am I correct? The, the simulation that we are trying to copy has this ability to drag. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how you can quickly turn on the draggability. Uh, let me go back to my EGSS. Okay, so to make any object draggable in the plotting panel, there are two things we need to do. Okay, first, Go to a plotting panel, double click. Okay, make sure that this thing called interaction is enabled. So again, I can, I can type or I can use a select box. I recommend clicking on this select box. A pop-up will appear. Then you select the option you want. Obviously it has to be true. The reason is because we want to make the balls uh, interactable. So now we are going to specify and say the whole plotting panel needs to be enabled. Okay, so select true. So you can also type T-R-U-E yourself. Okay. The second thing you need to do is you need to go to the individual element. Because EJSS has no, has no uh, intelligence. All the intelligence come from the human being. So you need to tell the computer, when you script this for me, I need this to be also uh, selectable, interactable. Okay, so I'm going to double click on the shape set. Okay, on this shape set, there's something here called enable position. Uh, measured and all these funny things. So the important thing you need is enable position. So I'm going to select it again. This time the pop-up is different. It has something called enable none, enable any, let me wait for the tooltip to appear, 
and enable X, enable Y, and, and so on. Okay, so obviously I want to enable any because the ball can go anywhere. So, okay. So, two clicks. Huh? One is the main plotting panel enable. I'm not going to jump the, uh, hang on. Okay, so two things, plotting panel, plotting panel, make sure, ah, hang on. Plotting panel, make sure enable. And then the other one is the element itself need to enable what kind of interaction. So two things you need to do. Okay, now generate and, and tell me what you see on your own screen. I can move the colored ball. Can move the ball, huh? Balls. Yeah. Can move the three balls, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh yes, any any issues that you face in a machine? So far I'm okay. Uh Sylvia? Sure thing, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Good. Yeah, okay. okay. So it, it looks like okay. Uh I mean I can only uh say that it looks okay. It doesn't look too difficult. Lah. So uh, if you need more time, you just let us know, we'll wait. Nah. So this is how you can actually turn three objects into something that can be interacted. Okay. Now um let me see what uh let me see this. Huh? Okay, you move it here, it moves, okay. Can let me see how to do it now. Uh, where's my HSS? Okay, I move it. Okay, so maybe uh, I want to instead of uh, I'm going to move it a bit further, lah. Okay, so I'm going to move it a bit further. Maybe say around here. Uh, maybe two or three like that. Nah. Let me come back here. Okay. So I my assessment is currently uh, I want to make a, a better copy of the storyboard. So I need to figure out uh, maybe this one I should change it to two, two and two, you know. Anybody know why I must change? I should change this to two, two and two. You are moving more to the right. Yes, I'm moving more to the right. Excellent, <laughs> thank you. Uh. So if you want, you can play with it. Like if you if you don't understand uh this, then you can just play with it. So two four two three four, compile. So it will be it will be like this uh, the output. Okay, so this two, three and four. No. So you can play with it, then you, you understand what you're doing. Because when you generate it, you can see the output. Then you can figure out what is it doing. Okay, so this is, this is how I, I, I move it further away. Okay, now uh, I want to make it such that when you move it here, it will come here. Let me see how to do it. Huh? Okay, I need to create a hot zone. Uh, okay, let me see how. Okay, let me create a hot zone. Uh. Uh, okay, so now I want to create a hot zone. What is what is the hot zone? Um, this 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 rectangle here. Uh, I want to make into a hot zone. Okay, so maybe I will use a technique here. Uh, let me see. Okay, so um, I will now go back to a single drawable. I will now use a, a, a rectangle. Uh, make it appear here. So maybe say this is the hot zone, hot zone. So this is the hot zone. So this hot zone, I double click. I can influence its properties. So maybe say I want it to be zero, zero, but the size is one and one. Okay, the shape is a rectangle, is a square rectangle. Okay, 
Um, okay, I'm going to copy a code for you. You give me a minute. Let me go and find a code for you. Uh, it's to create a dotted line. Okay, uh, let me see how. Uh, okay, so in on the internet, uh, I just type uh, Lu Kang uh, GitHub. Okay, so Lu Kang GitHub is where I if, is where I park some of the codes. That I do so uh, because I, I cannot memorize all the things and and sometimes it's quite quite complicated to draw um, and copy the the codes are. so it's under attribute so I just control find control find is it working control find attributes so there's this thing called attributes I'm going to copy the code for you I'm going to put it in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, the GitHub link is here. Okay, so the, the command is a, is some kind of a, a command. Uh, is, I can't remember how I, I found it. Uh. I mean, I asked the professor for it. Uh. Then later on, I realized it was just part of the usual canvas kind of a language to determine the properties. So this, this code here, okay, copy it, uh, EJSS, copy it under the, copy it under the attributes. Because we have, we have simple ways of changing the color, the width. So, you know, I, get, I got easy ways of changing it. But this dotted line is a sophisticated it's not a standard line that there should maybe you might be thinking there should be one that says dotted or not and true false you know but they maybe there's too many commands uh, so they they pack it all inside something called attribute so i'm gonna, I'm gonna paste it here i'm gonna paste it on the attribute and then you generate and see what happens i'm gonna stop the screen here for a while so you all generate yeah Yeah, I got I got like what I sent in the website. Okay. Mm. Somebody tried to send me a picture, is it? Let me take a look. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, so yours has a has a okay, let me see you okay dotted line, okay. You use a rounded let me show you what I'm seeing. Okay, you're using a rounded rectangle, which is fine. Then there are, this is the dotted properties. The fill is currently gray. So yeah, right. you want to change it to transparent, you just specify the color to be uh, transparent, or you can select no fill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, how about uh, Sylvia and uh, Shetting? Are you okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, can, can. Okay, cool. So uh, let me see what I can do now. Huh? So if this one drops inside there, then I need to move it. Huh? Uh, okay, now unfortunately I need to do code. Uh, yeah, I need to do code. I don't think I can just do it out. Okay. Okay. So now we have some basic, a basic knowledge already, already about EJSS. So this is a shape set. I need you to come here to the shape set. Okay, three can stay as a number, it's fine. But I think minimally I need to change I need to change this to X and change this to Y. Okay, wait, wait, I change X first, huh? So my I need to change this to X. Okay. Then uh, when you change this to X, uh, because X is something you introduce yourself, so you need to make the program understand what you're doing. 
So I need to, I need to come to the editor. Okay. I need to go to the model uh, variables. And then you notice I have, I have completely not done anything uh, in an attempt to make it less scary. But now, unfortunately, because of the storyboard, I need to introduce uh, variables. Okay, so I'm going to introduce variables. Okay, so variable, very easy, just click. I think we, our first session, I did show you how to create variables. Just come here, click OK, and then after that. So you just put X here. Uh, initial values, remember we did something, two, 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 I think. The, that, was, uh, that was the suggestion now. Two, I, I had two, three, four, but two, 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 I think is the desired look and feel. So the dimension here is three, okay? Dimension is like um, how many things are inside this variable X. Ah. So, so in other words, it's like doing, it's like doing uh, X0, X0, X1, X2, you know? So this, this thing here, oh, sorry, I paste in the wrong one, is it? So I can add comments uh, to make it uh, easy to understand. So this X is actually X0, X1, and X2, where X0 is the first one. So uh, I think I program it such a way that it is the top one, then this is a middle one, then this is the uh, bottom one. Okay. This is like your array. La. Uh, this is your array, yes, yes. It's a, yeah, in JavaScript, we call it array. La. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now that I check here, I check back to my, I check back my to my shape set. Okay, uh, let me share my shape set. You will notice that this is now a pink color. You release it; it should not be pink anymore. Okay, it's a it's, EJS has some inbuilt debugging uh, visuals. So if it's, I think the color was pink or something. Then that means you have to. Take note of it, like something probably something uh, detected as an er as a problem, not necessarily an error, but it's a problem that it just is trying to uh, tell you that I don't quite understand what it is. Sometimes you compile, it will work. Sometimes you compile, it doesn't work. Then you have to take note, lah. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to copy this. Copy this. I need to change this to Y. Sorry, okay. Y, Lawrence. Yes. This is also kept sensitive, right? Because I accidentally. Yes, yes, it's kept sensitive. JavaScript okay. is text sensitive. Okay. Which is why, um, which is why, uh, you have to be very careful, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, my lazy way of doing this is I always do small cap. <laughs> but, but best practices in JavaScript will tell you that you should do uh like English like that. So for example, a variable, uh, say uh, small marble. So the small is small cap, but the marble, the M is capital. You know, mm. yeah, there are some kind of a convention in the world uh, when it comes to best practices for variables. Mm. So you may want to uh, follow that kind of convention so that it increase the readability of your code. But typically, I just don't. I just put put all small. You seldom see I do capital capitalization. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I change this to Y, uh, small Y, and uh, I'm going to go to my editor. Change this to Y. Paste that that funny thing that I specify one, zero and minus one, and then of course the dimension is three. Okay, and then that should uh, complete the verbalization of the, the, the boss uh, to be dragged. Okay, now I compile and then you, you tell me what you see. We will, we will end at 11.30 or maybe even earlier. Oh, don't, uh, just, just to give you a heads up. So we will we will stop when we make the interactive climax at some point lah, where where you see wow this is 
this is much much uh, much completed. Done. Yeah. Can can let's compile. Let's take a look. Okay, so the the simulation still works lah. Oh, it can compile. There's no error. Uh, it still it still has the same property of the draggability and the three the three circles are appearing lah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you. Uh, this is. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Just one, I'm having a meeting actually right now. Yeah, can you text me? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Okay, this is half, 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 half. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, let me do slowly first. Huh? Let me think how to do this. So this is drop inside the drop zone. Then we will animate it. Okay. Uh, hey, let's see. Okay. Okay, so oh, I didn't copy anything from that that template lah. Let me see what I can copy ya. Yeah. Copy. We can copy some of these bar sizes, bar location. Okay. X bar, Y bar. Okay, so I guess the I will I will copy this lah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to copy uh, the evolution. Okay, how to copy the evolution? Okay, click on the second uh, bottom panel of this called ODE, Ordinary Differential Equation. Click on this one, agree to the name. Okay, agree to the name, whatever it is, just agree, okay. Then Then it should look something like this. Okay, so yeah. we need to put T here, T here, and uh, delta T. Okay, so uh, in my variables, I'm going to introduce T, enter, delta T, delta T, enter. So T initially will take a value of zero. Delta T will take an initial value of 0 0.05 and Delta T will not change, but T is something that will increment over time because of this ODE. Oh. So now I'm going to do a bar. So if they call it bar one and, and B. So I'm going to copy the idea. Since I'm not moving the bar, I'm moving the circles and the circles I have used variable x and y. So this has to be x. So, uh, double click, then you just inject x inside. Then oh, it will become a mathematical yeah, equation. Okay. Then this one uh, is velocity. So this will be velocity. So I will use v x. Okay, why v x? Uh, I let me think your student one okay okay they did move so i need i need both la. Oh, i need both okay can you all follow this so dx over dt is a uh, velocity x dy over dt is a uh, vy okay so um so this vy okay i need to Come back here. Okay. I'm going to select these two things. Copy and paste. V and V. 
initial values are all zero. Okay. Now I think can compile already. I think it should should be able to run. Okay, can you all try to compile and, and, and check that it's working? If it's not, you tell me what, what you see so we can help you debug. So this one is slightly more complex uh, because I'm doing the ODE, which is the, the motion uh, of the, the three balls. Compared, there's no error. Yeah, there's no error, good. Yeah. Okay, good, okay. But it doesn't move. Yeah. All right, okay. So to make it move, you change this to one. Then all the three balls should do something. You just compile and, and check. Okay, the three ball should start to move to the right. Lah. I see my balls don't move. Your, your balls are not moving, the, the three of them? No, it's not moving. Ah, okay, I need to see your ODE. I need to see your EGSS. Can I take a look? Because I'm doing my another lab, I will show you. Okay, you take a video yeah. and show me. No, actually, I, I will. I will record. You need, sorry, Lawrence, you need to see the variables, is it? Yeah, I need to see your EGSS editor. Okay. You need to show me uh, the ODE. The ODE, is it? Okay. Yeah, I need to see the ODE page. Because you say it didn't move. Huh? No, it didn't move yeah. means it's because of the ODE. Can I send it to you? Oh, you use capitalization, okay. Yeah, because initially I capitalized all. <laughs> okay, can I look at your variable page? Ah, uh, is okay, three, okay, no problem. Ah, oh, it didn't move. Uh. Yeah. It looks okay. Like. <laughs> Did you mine also same issue, not moving. Ah, huh, wait uh, that doesn't make sense. Uh. Wait, uh, let me see. Is your auto check on or not? Uh? Your this auto auto play, sorry, auto play. Yeah, it's check. Yeah, it's on, yeah, it's checked, yes. Okay, can I see your images, your your element, your HTML view? I need to see uh, your element. Is it is it referring to the correct variables or not? My element, the shape set, is it? Y, uh, the shape set. Okay. Uh, X, Y. Okay, 
I, I teach you one technique. Uh. Um, mm -hmm. You see it's not moving, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, look at my screen. Uh. So, um, go to plotting panel. Mm -hmm. Okay, plotting panel. Let me, yeah, give me a minute. Plotting panel. Uh, under decoration, okay, there's a top left message and a top right message, right? Just use any of these. So, for you, uh, I want to see, for you, for me, it was small x, uh, small x. Mm -hmm. So small x is not a problem. Okay, never mind. I don't need to see the small x. I need to see your velocity x. Oh, the x is it? Velocity x. So for you was small velocity capital Y. I need to see this. X or y, uh, sorry. I need to see both. Both is it? So I will do like this. So this is to this is to show okay, this is to show the velocity uh velocity x. Then I will do a plus uh then uh then the quotation, then next line, then velocity y equal quotation and then vy. Okay, I copy the code for you. I put it in WhatsApp. You you modify it to fit into your system because you 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 use a capitalization. So you copy it into your own top right messages. Then uh, when you play, I I want to see these numbers. What are these numbers doing? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to compile mine to check that I didn't give you wrong code. Okay. What happened? Uh? Uh, mine is not working. B, Y, B, Y, X. Oh, there's a missing plus sign. Okay, wait. Uh. Okay, use this one. It's a missing plus. Ah. Now it should work. Ah. Take a look. Oh, there's a missing plus. Okay, I'm going to share my browser. Okay. So I, I'm hoping to see the numbers here. So this number here indicates the velocity of each of the three oh. balls. Okay, now it's moving. Yeah, mine also moving already. Yeah, oh, moving. Possible. You, you must have done something else that the no, I told you. No, they never do anything. I just add in the codes that you uh, asked us to paste. You did something move. else? No, they... nothing else. Huh? Doesn't make sense, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Huh. Doesn't make sense. But no, never mind, we'll move on. Uh, uh, but it should move. Uh, if, uh, yeah, yeah, it's continuous, continuous moving. Okay, so, okay. okay, so how to um, how to the okay, first thing is we need to make it stop. Okay, first thing we need to make it stop is uh in, in your simulation. Uh, give me a minute, huh? In my simulation, okay, the okay the this O D this. EJSS, they have this thing called the autoplay. You mm -hmm. uncheck it because it's checked by default. Okay. okay. Then uh, compile. So then it should not move in the beginning. Or it should not move in the beginning. You can drag it. Mm -hmm. Then when you drag it, then you click play, then it will move. Yes. Okay. So now... Uh, Okay, so now the trick is you want to make it drop inside here. Then it will move, okay? Uh, okay, let me make it simple for, let me do it simple first. Okay. Uh, okay, first thing I want to do is I want to change this to minus one. Uh, I want to change the velocity in the x direction to minus one. The the reason is because I want it to move towards the magnet. Line. Because now it's moving away from the magnet. Line. Correct or not? Yeah, okay. So now if I play this, 
I want it to move towards a magnet, lah. Correct. Mm -hmm. But now your 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 storyboard is you you only want this kind of behavior when the ball is inside this drop zone, right? You only want this move this movement because now it, when you play, it's actually not supposed to move, lah. Only when it is only when it's inside, then you want it to move, right? And then mm. follow some physics, lah. I'll follow some scripted behavior, right? Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm going to do something. I think is rather sophisticated. Uh, I I will I will try to do it. Uh, give me a minute, lah. Okay. So now the the issue is. You want it to. Okay, there's something called the prelim code. Can, can you all see this? Prelim code? Yeah. Okay, click on the prelim code. Prelim code is where you want to pass this code to EJS before it runs the evolution. Okay. Okay, so I think, I think I need to put it here. Okay, so I click on it. So in this prelim code, I'm going to write some code now because uh, I don't think can escape from it. So when it's, so uh, let me just write some code first. Uh, let me think. Uh, so if X is lesser than the boundary. Remember the boundary? Uh, let's uh, let's get, get greater than minus one. No, sorry, X is, let's say, uh, okay, let me, let me do like this, uh, var tolerance equals to 0 0.5. Tolerance is some, some unit. Lah. So uh, when X is greater than tolerance, the negative of the tolerance and X, is lesser than the positive of the tolerance. And I'm going to copy this, change this to Y. I think this should capture it in the circle, in the square. Lah. If this is this, okay, I'm going to test the code. So I'm going to do an alert. Okay, alert. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it inside WhatsApp. Then you can copy it wholesale into your uh, into your prelim. Is it called prelim? What is it called? Prelim code. Prelim code. Yes. Just copy into your prelim code. Do I have to change the X to like a capital? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. If, if you have, if you have used capital X, then you need to um, Use you need to adapt it. You need to okay. yeah, adapt it to your own variable. Okay. Because you use capital, so uh yeah, that is the only change you need. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna compile. Okay, good news, it's working. Okay, so now I think what I did was I I created some code. Uh, if I drag this and if I drop it inside, eh, it doesn't have alert. Lah. Uh, why? Let me understand my code first. Huh? If X is larger than negative tolerance and X is lesser than tolerance and Y is... Why didn't it work? What did I do wrongly? Let me check. Huh? So, okay, so I have, uh, I have introduced some code but it's not doing the behavior I want. I need to see the values of x and y. So I'm going to do a 
Okay, let me show you my what I'm doing. So in my plotting panel, I want to see a debugging panel. I need to see what what did, exactly did I do that is not making sense. So I need to see x. I also need to see y. This is called next line. Next line means uh, it will appear as a next line, so that it will not uh, it will not be all in one straight line. Then it's hard to read, lah. Or oh, I'm going to paste this inside the editor for you. Let me just compile to see that it's working first. Okay, it's it's working, ah. Okay. okay, two. Oh, a tolerance. Why is it not working? Tolerance. Tolerance is five. Half, half, half. Why is there no alert? What do you mean by alert? Oh, okay. So, uh, in in JavaScript, uh, alert is like a it's a way to to get the the browser to pop up a message lah. Actually, when I move right, uh, the balls to the hot zone, then when I press play, there is a pop up there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think I understand. Is, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so the code is working like just I couldn't understand what I was doing. Okay, because the code is trapped inside the prelim code. So if the simulation is not running, it's not running the ODE. If the ODE is not running, it's not running this code. So I, 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 I screenshot that. Uh, is that what you meant? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. So, uh, so the code is working. I think the code is is working, but because it's not playing, because it's not playing, so it doesn't work, lah. Oh, because EJSS. Um, in in this. Okay, let me explain the the idea. This is the evolution. Evolution means time change, right? Time change. If the simulation is paused, time did not increment. If time did not increment, all this code are not run, including the prelim code. That's why it's not giving me the behavior I'm expecting. Okay, so now if you are, let's say, compiling, mm -hmm. Then you run a simulation. Let me let me share my browser first. Huh? Let's say you are you compile the simulation, then you play. Okay, I need to catch the, the ball. Huh? Okay. Or oh, once the ball is inside, he also oh, but it's because this is oh okay, okay. Because okay, let me play. I drag I drag it. Huh? Oh, okay, the alert appears. Huh? Can you see? Oh the alert, let me see, show you the alerts. See the alert appears yeah. now. Same, I got that as well. Okay, can can let me see how I can uh, figure this out. Uh, give me a minute, lah. Uh. Where is my? Okay, so this is working. This code fundamentally, what I just did in this one line or or three line, three line plus this line, so four line. What I did is I am telling EJSS to check whether the first ball, first ball, is within a certain dimension which I specify as a square la, tolerance. I use tolerance because it's is something that fits the hot zones dimension la. half half minus half half uh, half and minus half. So then I will ask it to do an alert. So I know that the code is working now. Now the trick is instead of alert, I, I don't want alert. I actually want to influence the velocity. So the velocity is minus one, let's say. Okay, so if it's, if it's within the hot zone, then I will make the ball move in a certain way, which is move to the left. Okay, so I'll take away the, I'll take away the alert. Let me just copy this for you. You just paste it in your evolution page. Okay. So rather than alert, now you will move the velocity to the to the left. Uh, 
Give me a minute. Let me think first. Huh? This thing is. Can I put it inside? Fix the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Wait. doesn't check it's not playing okay simple okay one way i will do it is i okay i i will do it this way okay my solution to the problem is i will make it initially all not moving okay can you make your velocity x zero back okay make your velocity equal zero back and in my evolution okay it's, it's auto playing so never mind uh, i need to okay so i i will make it all not moving huh? okay then it will do the prelim code after i play the simulation okay so i'm going to play okay so if i do it now it will it will not uh it will not do it correctly because i need to play but the good news is if I play the simulation, they are not moving. So now I can catch any of the ball easily. Okay. Then once this one, nothing happens because this is X1 and, and Y1. This is X2, Y2. So nothing happens. But when I drag this, it should do something. Oh, something. Die, yeah. Let me check why. Yeah. Stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me check why. Uh, error. V. Okay, I have a V somewhere. How oh, come I got introduced V? Oh, I introduced V. Mistake. Uh, mistake. Sorry. VX. Uh. I copy this again. I put it in the WhatsApp. Okay, the, the problem was V. Uh, v was not understood. Uh. You get what I mean? Because I had use vx as the velocity in the x direction but v is not understood so when ejs when when javascript hits a hits a, a bummer it doesn't know what to do so it freezes now okay so if you paste this inside your prelim code okay now i have changed this to uh yes. primary here here what is this So it should work now. Okay, let's let's test it. Huh? Let's compile. Okay. So it should move now. Huh? Oh, sorry. So I need to play. Huh? Wait, huh? I need to play. Okay. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> See, let me try to compile again. Huh? Ah, compile again. Oh, the code's here. Okay, okay. My, yeah, my first line is doing something. Okay. Yeah, I got like what you should ask. Uh, okay. When I play, my three balls still moving to the left. Yeah. Okay, your three balls still moving to the left. Okay, can you check? Can you check your variables? My variables. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me. Can you check your variables? Make sure that your initial value for Vx and Vy are, are zero, zero at the onset. Don't make it uh, one or minus one. Okay. Yeah, that, that was my uh, that was my doing. I, I changed it to to minus one. Then later on I realized I need to make it zero for it to be easily dragged. Okay, can mine is the last ball. Moving by the first one, the second doesn't. What <laughs> is the first ball moving? No, the last one. The, the third, last the... one move. Ah. Yeah. Oh, because you I mean... put minus one, zero, and one. Oh, you oh yeah. Initialize your it. Y, is it? Yeah, for my Y, I put opposite of yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if your Y is opposite of mine, then the order will be reversed. <laughs> la. It will be jumbled up. La. You need to figure out what is your first one. <laughs> oh? So, uh, no problem, right? 
Okay, so I am going to do a climax because it's going to be eleven thirty soon. Uh, mm-hmm. let me see what will make it very. Uh, so we have managed to make it drag and move. Okay, so uh, you all can want to figure out something quickly by today. Any anything you all have uh, issues with? I think today is clearer. <laughs> <laughs> second time, uh, you know, second time. Yeah. Practice, uh, it's, it's all about practice. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and plus, I have a handphone beside me that shows me what I'm seeing. So I can predict uh, whether y'all are, are seeing what I'm seeing or not. Okay, so maybe, okay, so a, a small climax. Uh, okay, so the, the problem I see now is like this. Uh. Okay, in my EGSS, a small climax will be something like this. So when I drag, when I play the simulation, I drag it here, it, it continues to move. But if I want to drag it back here, I want it to stop, but it continues to play. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I want it to stop playing, but it is not. So because uh, how to do it is you can, you can script it like this. Huh? Uh, I go to EGSS. Okay, I go to EGSS. Okay. So I, because you, I, I figured out that because let's say for example, the second time you, you drag it. So I want to come here, uh, double click on it. Okay, double click on it. Okay. There's something called, uh, EJSS actually allows for you to figure out which index you are touching. Is it index zero, index one, index two? So the index is called element interacted. So in element interacted will be minus one if by default it will become zero if let's say you're touching the first element, which is the zeroth element. If you're touching the the one in the middle, which is element equal to one. And then if you're touching the last one, it will be element equal to two. So I, I will just quickly just call it element. Huh? Shortcut lah, element, uh, and I will paste the element here. So initial value is minus one, let's say. Okay. So element, oh sorry, I need to show you my my screen. Element, give it an initial value of minus one. Okay, but I I I want to have a a, a system of ways to figure out what is the user interacting on. Is he interacting on the zero element, first element, or second element? So I will so the, the element will change number. It will change from minus one by default. It will change to zero, one, or two, depending on what the user does. Okay. So uh, let me let me help you understand what is happening. Because these are all new concepts. So element, element equal plus element. Let me compile and check that my code is working first before I copy over to you. Okay, can. Okay, paste this in the, paste this in the, any of the messages lah. I want to see in the plotting panel uh, the, the message. Okay, paste it here. Let's say I have, I've used this two already, right? So I want to use the bottom right lah, oh, bottom right. So I paste it here. So when I compile it, then it, you can see that the element is minus one. Yeah. And if I touch it, Hang on, uh. it's still not working. Uh. Wait, uh. It's still not working. Uh, give me a minute.
Let me quickly see whether it's working. For, ah, okay. Okay, can. Okay, it's working. Okay, now I need you to copy this. I need you to copy this code into the on drag. Okay. It's nothing uh, earth shattering. It's basically just telling EJSS to it's element equal element. That means I want to know, I want to take whatever that is being interacted and pass it back into the element, uh, the variable called element because it just is, didn't do this automatically. La. So I, I want to trigger on drag. That means when the user drag it, I want to pass the value of element into the variable called element. The reason is because it just did not automatically do it. Okay, I, I need to I need to have a I need to have some kind of action to trigger this calculation. So I use the on drag to count to trigger this calculation. Okay. Now if you compile. Yeah, you show the element that you yeah, the element is changing now, right? Two, oh, yeah. can you see? Two, one, one, yeah. zero. Okay. Zero. Yeah. So this is the the trick that EJSS does to help uh, people like us figure out what is being interacted. So with this element, I can do a lot of magic because uh, I know how it's changing. So I know the number. Uh, okay, let me think. Uh. Okay, so uh, I'm going to quickly do it. Okay, uh, let me see. So on drag, Open up the pop up, uh. open up the pop up on drag, All right? This one, right? So I'm going to add some code. Uh. So uh, VX element equals to VX, oh, sorry, VX element, sorry, VX equal to zero. Okay. What is Just one line. Oh, this one means assign the value zero into this uh, element. This element. I mean, this uh, variable. Element is the index, the either zero, one, or two, right? One or two. Oh yeah. Right. X is the is the variable called velocity in the x direction, mm -hmm. because when the user drop it into the hot zone, v x, the element becomes minus one. Uh, it become positive. It become minus one. Correct. Become minus one because it moved to the left. Now, when the user drag on it, let's say that it move, it move, it move, it hit the, it hit the magnet or whatever. That one we haven't script. But let's say it moves away from the screen and the user now click it and move it to its original position. Then we want to force the speed to be zero. So this is what it's doing. Oh, it's like resetting back to zero, is it? Ah, yeah, it's like it's a re it's like resetting, but only resetting for that, that element that the user has touched. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to give it to you in the WhatsApp chat. Mm, okay. Well, this is really step by step. You need to really to think. <laughs> correct, correct. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it's uh, how to say, uh, it is a very cognitively challenging task to design <laughs> a sim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of uh, respect for people who can code lah. Because what I'm doing is just a simple stuff, no, no like just like that put zero like that for equal. <laughs> the people who do all the complex thing at the back, uh, wow, really the brain is uh, able to <laughs> because I need to see the messages right. So it is 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 problem solving at at a very tangible form lah. That is is all in codes ah. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's fantastic lah. That's why when I have Ari and I have Ari who are uh, very conversant with coding, uh, normally I will ask them to do certain things and then I will try to learn one or two extra stuff. Because mm -hmm. it's just it's just impossible to learn everything. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of people who can do such stuff. So okay, now I compile. Let me compile and take a look. Okay. okay, so let, let's do a quick recap. Huh? I drag this, 
the element becomes zero. Okay, I drag this, element become one. I drag this, element become two, okay? Now, if I, if I play and, and I, I drag this, okay, no problem. But if I drop it into the hot zone, it moves, okay? If I drag it, it should stop. Ah, yes, it stops. Okay, can you see? It stops. Yeah. Then I can put it back in, it will move. I drag it, it will stop. You all understand what yes. you just said? Because we, we added a new code called on drag. So mm -hmm. if, I, if I have scripted it in such a way that all three balls, all three balls will move, the moment it moves, I, I touch it, that particular element will not move anymore, mm -hmm. which is what I did. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everything needs to be scripted. Like if you want, uh, the, if you want it to move, stop at the position, I need to calculate everything, uh, which we will do the next, in the next session. Uh. But I think today has been, uh, has been very fruitful because yeah. the example you gave me was simple. <laughs> and I think this one is easier for, for learning purposes. Okay. Yeah. Ken, so uh, are we good? Uh, uh, Ting? Yeah. Uh, uh, Sylvia? Yeah, good. Okay, good. So uh, I assume Pfizer, you're, you're good also. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so we will, we will arrange another session. Uh, let me pause the recording. Uh, Let me see. I'll stop the recording.